All right, so I would like to mount the machine ported right about there. A little lower, maybe. Basically, an inch above floor level is uh, where I'd like it. And so I've gone ahead and moved everything. Uh, you can see the bald spot. I relocated the light. This time I actually hooked it up to uh, the motion sensor, so it's not on all the time. Applied an outside outlet strip here to run the big sign and any other light up doodad I want to put here. So now what I need to do is on the inside I need to mark the floor and prepare to cut. And my uh, my cut will be right about there. -ish. Prepare to cut that hole out to mount it. You'll have to ignore the snaggle of wires for the moment. That's uh, one other project before the dust collector goes into here. This corner is to fix the the wonderful octopus I found inside the wall there. Anyways. What I've got is I got a spacer board holding it up one inch and it also gives me a nice straight line because when I'm all said and done I'd really like to finish this corner and uh, it's really the last bit of the shop that doesn't have any insulation. Probably doesn't matter much given you know the windows and doors but whatever it's the last bit there so I need to leave enough room to slide my sheeting behind and I need to leave enough room to lift this up to get clamps in and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and space it up on that board. I'll end up rolling it out slightly. Then I'll trace around it as best I can. That is the Uber Heavy Duty connecting port that comes with the Dust Deputy blower, which is sitting upside down right now on the uh, table saw. So that would go into that port right there. So essentially that port is going to come through the wall right here and it'll mean that nothing there'll be no lift there'll be no rise in the entire system as long as I get it down that low except for the table saw run which will be under the floor here so there'll be a about a 10 inch lift right there somewhere in this area there'll be about a 10 inch lift otherwise There'll be no rise in, in any of the runs. It'll all be downhill, and I'm, uh, I'm hoping that'll help. So now to mark, drill, and cut. So here I've punched the initial hole with just a spade bit, and I'm going to attempt to cut my circle with the uh, saber saw. Sawzall. So, so that's got that. Nice tight fit, so it'll be easy to seal. It comes out right down there. So, that should be fine. I'm going to go get the machine itself and see how it looks in there. I realize it's getting a little dark to film, but basically that's where it's going to be. So, you know, I was kind of wrong. There'll be, should, and it just won't happen. But should it ever be converted back into a, a car garage, this uh, system wouldn't necessarily have to be removed. It, uh, it would be okay. It is going to get a lot of water on it. And that's not something you see addressed in uh, any of the manuals. Can they get water on them? So I'm thinking I'll have to come and... Because this is kind of a dish right here going to want to collect these cracks. Now in theory they've wiped silicone on the inside and they've got this tight rolled seam but I'll probably wind up wiping a bead of silicone around the outside. I should, uh, from this angle it's not sealed on that flange very well. Overall it'll set up like this. Overall I'm pretty happy. My uh, my blower will sit basically on top of it with uh, as short a possible port as I can get. Then it uh, comes out of my blower at 4 inch. So I'll, I'll run 4 inch up straight through to my filter stack, which uh, I haven't built yet. It's on the list. so. 
There is the first part of the dust deputy, getting it in line. I'll have to come up with a way to hang it. I'm thinking a panel that... Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking of a lot of things. Basically, I'm thinking of, of putting a shelf out, and this will pass through the shelf, and then I'll just screw the whole damn thing to the bottom of it. We get some pretty nasty winds in here, but it should be sheltered by the building. I don't know if it can twist it. We'll see. I've also seen people put big rings around them. I mean, it's a cone, so drop it into a cone-shaped holder. There's a, just a lot of ideas floating around in my head right now. So we'll have to see where they go.